my travellers here is to get to the international departures from domestic. <laughs> okay, this is the green line that you follow over to the terminal. There's like no sign of this bus. Follow the green line. Just come out of the domestic terminal here. At least you get my night flight review from Christchurch here to Auckland. Now I'm catching my international flight. I haven't flown out of Auckland in years. So much so that I have no idea where I'm going. I can't remember this, but it was clearly always this way. It's like 10 something at night. I think this is the last flight out from Christchurch. And it is summer, even though I'm wearing warm clothing. So even if it was raining, we still wanted to get some steps in. You could totally do so. I am the only person doing this. But that's because not many people are leaving. Plenty of signs. Because my luggage is already checked through. It really is just my carry-on and me. Apparently this walk is supposed to be 10 minutes. So potentially I might even beat the bus around. This is one way that you can get between the terminals. Eh. <laughs> it's alright because it's very mild tonight. It's actually a lot warmer up here than in Christchurch. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as I post new videos every week. That may help enhance your travel experiences. Getting in some more steps in between flights is always a good thing. Really just walking through a car park. Not completely flat. <laughs> well, I'm walking at a leisurely pace. Yeah, it is not flat the whole way. It was definitely a less than 10 minute walk, even though I stopped and had a wee drink. Yeah, see it says 10 minutes, 660 metres, so it's not far, not far at all. Let's go into the empty international departures, holy shit it really is empty. <laughs> okay.